Okay, so uh, Ralph McTell barges. So after the intro, which we've got. several times and then he starts singing as soon as he starts singing we're into I know we're into Travis picking I know he does something more complicating he picks out a melody as well if you want to we'll get into that in another video let's just get the Travis picking first so what am I doing I'm thinking of the pattern of thumb second finger thumb first finger thumb second finger thumb first finger <laughs> which is one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and I'm on a G chord and I'm playing as you can see with fingers three two and four yeah in fact I don't even need finger two I just need the bass note on fret uh, three of the low E string and of course I've got the cap on the fifth fret just as Ralph does in that video, the live video that I've given you a link to. So, third finger, third fret of the low E string, little finger, fourth finger, third fret of the B string. My two fingers, plucking fingers, are going to be assigned to fingers one and two assigned to the G string and the B string. So, finger one is going to play the G string, finger two is going to play the B string. Thumb will be going between low E and D string, yeah? And I'm thinking of the pattern of, like I said, thumb, second, thumb, first, thumb, second, thumb, first. That's your basic pattern. Me and my brother went down to the water and I saw a pike that was six feet long. Oh, no, it's not six feet, is it? Ah, uh, okay. That's it, yeah? Um, of course, I was going too fast just for demonstration, right? Um, if you want to, you can put in a pluck. So instead of one and two and three and four, and remember when you put in a pluck, generally, instead of it now being eighth notes, one and two and three and four, and it lasts for a quarter note or a crotchet rather than a quaver. One and two and three and four and pluck. So the pluck is with the thumb and the second finger on the B string. One and... And then the next movement is a thumb because you're on beat two. So one and two and, and the next finger you're going to use is the first finger because you just use the second finger for the pluck. Yeah. So one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. And, and you could put in that pluck wherever you want it or you don't have to use it because... Um, because we're not doing the exact pattern that Ralph's doing, because Ralphie is doing a pretty bloody difficult one. Uh, which, like I said, I will do a separate video for that if you want to. But let's get just the song. with. We've got the intro, which is nice. And really not too bad. Or if you want to use the thumb for all three bass notes, as the guy in the video says. And of course he's showing it you on the 4th fret, but of course all you need to do is just do exactly the same thing while moving your cap up to the 5th fret. So, uh, let's get the first bit of the verse, because uh, I think it's typical of a folk tune, once you got, musically, once you got the first verse, you got every other verse. They pretty much always do the same thing, yeah? So, that section that I was, that I just sang, uh, more or less, that's the first 8 bars, that's an 8 bar section. You got one and two and three and four and two, two three four three two three four four two three four five two three four six two three four seven two three four eight two three four. So what was going on there? I spent four bars. Me and my brother went down to the water. And That's four bars. Then the next, that's a line of, um, that's a line of lyrics, isn't it? Me and my brother went down to the water. Then the next line, and that takes up four bars, yeah? Me and my brother went down to 
into the water. And then the next line of lyrics also takes up four bars. I saw a pike that was two feet long. So let's get what's happening with chords there. I saw a, that's another bar of G, pike. This is D over F sharp. Let me get back to <clears throat> there. D over F sharp. Now, I'm, I'm used to not using my thumb over the top. So I've gone from G like this, or just third and fourth finger. I saw a pie. My little finger was an anchor, stayed on the third fret of the B string. My first finger went to the low E string second fret, and my second finger went to the G string second fret. And my picking hand was doing the same pattern on the same strings, yeah? The same bass note, low E, uh, fingers one and two remaining on G and B string. So, I saw a pipe. In, in the video, you see Ralph go from this. Let's see, what does he do? Maybe he's doing a four finger G, that would make it easier to go to a D, just like this, like a normal D, and then he puts his thumb over the top for that bass note, second fret, low E string. So, so we got one and two and three and four, and one and two and three and four, and bar of G, bar of D over F sharp. Then we got C two feet long, two feet, one and two and three and four and, except you see him doing it like this. The first chord is C, one and two and three and four and. He puts his thumb over the top again for the second fret of the low E string. His first finger remains as an anchor finger from the C and the second finger just moves down to the second fret of the G string. So what this is, this is D7 over F sharp rather than just D over F sharp. Yeah, And it's relatively easy to get to. If you do the thumb version, like I said, thumb there, second fret, first finger just comes down from the D string to the G string from your C to your D7 over F sharp. And if you do the all fingers version, your first finger still remains an anchor finger, and your second finger moves up to the second fret of the low E string, and your third finger moves to the second fret of the G string. Yeah, second fret for these two fingers, E string, G string, <clears throat> and first finger has remained an anchor on the first fret of the B string. So that's two feet. Now your picking pattern has to accommodate that your chord has gone from a root on the A string to a root on the low E string. Ah. How does he do? There, there. Whichever way you do it, I'm going to... No, I'm going to try it his way. Get used to it. One and two and three and four and... One and two and three and four. Long. And then on that word long, you're back to G and you've got a bar of G. Yeah. So all in all, let me have a look at the lyrics. Me and my brother returned to the water. I saw a pike that was two feet long. Okay. Then, so two feet long, two, three, four. <clears throat> you got one bar of G, and on the last beat he does that thing. Did you see that? Because he's going down to an E minor chord. He does that bass run, which is second fret of the low E string. So one and two and two. Let me get it. Two feet long, two and three and four and one. One and two and three and four and on the G, one and two and three and four and, yeah? So I go from, yeah, this time I'm doing a G with an open B string. I could do it just as I was doing it before with the little finger on the third fret of the B string. It doesn't matter, they're both Gs. Two feet long. Why do I do it with just an open B this time? Because it's easier to get to from that. D7 over F sharp. 
long. One and two and three and four and so your picking pattern doesn't change. But on that last beat, you go down to the second fret. One and two and three and four and. Then you're into the last two lines of a verse, which I'll make a separate video for. Yeah, and you're going down one and two and three and four and one and two and you're going down to an E minor. 